my friendly neighborhood yet again. The game's been updated, I think just some bug fixes. So yeah, it turns out people really um, liked me playing this game. And I enjoyed playing it. It's not exactly, you know, like it's not perfect Resident Evil, but it's 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 pretty good. Just gotta hear those goddamn Muppets one more time, I swear to god. They added Freddy Faber, someone just said in chat. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Didn't Five Night at Frederick just get a new DLC? They're reading the same script again. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, uh, where were we? Someone said this is, um, really well put together for only three devs. I agree with that. A brick opposite the stairs for both sides for an Easter egg. Huh? Where? Like out here in this in this area. The stair you just walked up. Okay, so so here, opposite this. Oh, okay. Well, what would that do? Now the other stair. Huh. I don't know what it, uh... Now the hole on the left? Secret door. I, I, oh, 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 I missed it. <laughs> Cheat tape. Watch, watch where the rats. I don't get it. That's fine. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, so, so right. Um, I'm, I'm looking for new and exciting places to go. I remember last time I got kind of stuck. Locked. I don't have that key.
Okay, I remember, yeah, we were in here a couple times. Did not trust that puppet for a second. Strange kind of breaker box. By the way, um, this is Tom Schalk, who's doing the voice of the main character. And, uh, he and I have had a- we- we talked, I told him I really liked his work. And, uh, we may- he's a voice actor. And we may actually- he's- I think he's in Long Island, maybe. So we talked about hanging at some point. Not Shulk. Uh, no, it's cool, though. I mean, I, I'm just, it's nice that people, because he was already, like, um, following me on Twitter. I, I'm on X. And it's, it's nice when someone who I, I like their work has, uh, known of me in some way. It's, it's, it's a very flattering, ego-boosting thing, which is not always a good thing, but. So, I was here. And I missed the goddamn key. And that would have solved all of these problems. Never mind. Okay, it works on... Yeah, I see which ones it works on. Oh. Okay, yeah, this, this game, it does have a lot of backtracking. That's one of the complaints. But I also know Resident Evil has a lot of backtracking too, so it's fine. But, I just wanted to say that out loud. But, uh, I also missed that key last time I was there, so, clearly, that one's on me. I tend to miss things very easily in video games. As you can see. As you can very clearly see. There it is. Okay, so there's two more. Go, oh, you motherfucker! I thought I was walking just outside the range. I was not. I was not. So, chat, I am missing something in this room. It's still red. I don't know what that is. The drawers? What? Where?
Oh, these? Wait. Oh, I didn't know those were drawers. So now the room is done. Good. All right. So I'm assuming the rest of the, um... It's the X's, isn't it? Is it the X's? Copyright Munsk, 2023. Oh wait, no, copyright Meta. Oh wait, copyright Microsoft. Dream, I'm gonna be rich. I went, I went into the future, and I saw, I saw something I could never forget, Dream. I'm going to copyright the letter X. Going to make so much money, Dream. Dreeb is short for Dreebethan. Alright, they're all- they're all taped up, chat. Upset. Do you let it get you down? Let me tell you about the time my friend Leonard got me all upset at him. First, I, uh, uh, I beat him to the ground. Uh, then, okay. Then I, uh, I, I stomped, I stomped his face. Uh. Uh, all right. Right, we got one more. Just want to uh, check you. Oh man, I ain't... wrong way, wrong way. Vinny, do you watch Bob's Burgers? I have in the past. I've watched. I have watched Bob's Burger. I don't still watch Bob Burger. Name five episodes. Uh. Bobby! Wait, I can't do the voice anymore. I thought that was the game. You know what that is? That's an alarm I set to do my laundry yesterday. Well, I didn't remember, so that sucked, uh, because then I had to put the clothes back in the wash. Yeah, I- well, don't mind me, chat. I just- I tend to do my- my laundry at weird times. Why did you do laundry at midnight? No, I did it at, like, 10, and then... You know... I went and watched TV and stuff, and... Uh, I don't know, man. And, yeah, and then I set the alarm, and then I didn't... I... I sn snows the alarm, chat. I snows the alarm, and then I was like, oh, I'll remember. Now I definitely will remember, and then I just fell asleep.
th there should be two more, then. And then there's still one more X. We'll go through this way. We got this one already. Yeah, it's just that there's still stuff in this room somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, right. That. Okay. I don't want to hear them. I kind of remembered. I remembered where two of them went. There is no room in the toolbox. Oh, they're gonna... They're gonna come to life, aren't they? Um, you can sell these things, no? If I remember correctly, you can sell some of the stuff you don't need anymore. Hmm. They didn't come alive. So I count that as a win. So where are we now? We have the bolt cutters, so I, I know where to go now. Okay. Such a satisfying noise. I think I might have missed some stuff. 
there's also a way to open another door in that um, area, no? I remember there, uh, there being a couple, there was like two lights. Apparently you can come back later. Again, chat. That looks like Rich Evans to me. It does not. What do you mean it does not? That looks like Rich Evans. Great. It does it's not look like Matt out. Berry. That looks like an exit. Locked. Of course it is. Resident Evil Mansion entrance? Pretty much. Mental. New, <laughs> new puppet unlocked. Oh god. <laughs> Their fucking voices. Hazler. This is like something from a horror movie. The sort of thing that moves as soon as you turn your back. Yeah, don't do that. I don't want these paintings in real life. Okay, I don't actually, but... I wouldn't actually put them up. They are pretty amazing, though. Let's stash some stuff. Now would be a good time to save. He missed the glizzy gulper painting. That, I don't know what you're talking about, chat member, but that's not real. I don't believe you. It's real? Okay. There are moments in, in that show where Matt Berry just says something a little funny. And I lose my shit. And then I'm like, oh, I know why chat likes what I do now, I think. Yeah. He, like, at one point, he says the word fly funny. He's like, fly. Like, he just keeps it, he keeps doing the vibrato to it. That's not doing it justice, but... 
I rewound it three times. So clearly it worked on me. San Diego. Tape down the ammo sponge enemy. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Uh... Where, okay, hang on. We're looking for glizzies. Hang, hang on, chat. I'll find the glizzy. Oh. oh, I look. Yeah. I forgot that I saw that, but I saw that. Where, where the fuck actually am I on this map right now? Last month marked seven years since the end of the war, so it seems like a good time to reflect on the impact it had on our lives. The war left us feeling troubled, of course. Uh, in the end, we found that those calls were just noble lies. Like the, you know, for righteousness and all that. The horror of reality thwarted our starry-eyed ideals. We left home as heroes, came back as murderers. But this tension leads to a question. Why should we care about right and wrong or friendliness as the children's show puts it. Following such things can have a terrible cost. The only reason would be if there was some overarching purpose. Overarching purpose? I always do that. Some guiding goodness to our wanderings in the world, but that is exactly what an in injustice like the war calls into question. Perhaps it is time to put aside those old ideas. Perhaps it is time to look for other sources of hope. Perhaps the wise man is the one who lives for himself. There's another thing that Jacob's Ladder deals with. We were talking about that movie the other day. I mean, there's also Born in the Fourth of July. That was another one. There's There were a lot of Vietnam movies. And then there were a lot of post-Vietnam movies. Of like... You know, the soldiers coming back and being treated like shit. I understand there probably wouldn't be a whole lot of, uh, especially these days, people would just do a blanket assumption, you know, soldier bad, hoorah, whatever. But imagine being drafted at like 18, going off to fucking Vietnam of all places, like the Vietnam War, experiencing all that bullshit, and then getting a healthy dose of Agent Orange from your own side, aside from all the other stuff that was going on. And then coming back and being treated like shit. Whew. What a waste that was. All of that. Plus that giant blue guy. What do you mean giant blue guy? Ralph? Arlo? Wait. Now I need to check that chat member. Who- what giant blue guy? There was a giant blue guy in Vietnam- Oh, it was Dr. Manhattan. For fuck's sake. He won it for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, here, to keep conversation light, I know sometimes 
sometimes it's okay to talk about some of the horrors of reality, of course, but I want to mention that when I saw the Watchmen movie, some of you know this story from years ago. So a couple of my friends... What the? ...dragged me to the movie theater to see the Watchmen movie, something I had never read and had no knowledge of and no interest of. We went into the wrong theater, like the, the wrong, you know, screen. And we realized that, and this was before you reserved your- Whoa! Well, that statue kind of tells you about what's going on here! This is a waste of ammo. This is a waste of ammo. Mr. Thick, can you even tape up the monster? Is there enough tape in the world? Okay, so anyway, we got the wrong theater, and we had we got up, and we went to the correct theater, but by then, it was a little too late, and the theater had filled up, and there were three of us, so we couldn't just, like, you know, find, we couldn't find anything, if I remember correctly, but regardless, we ended up sitting up front, right in front of the screen, like, front row, Watchmen movie, which is never a fun experience to watch a movie that close. And Dr. Manhattan's big blue dong was just flopping in our faces that whole fucking movie. That's the story. I guess the movie was alright, too. I actually quite liked that movie. Um, I watched it a couple times. I haven't seen it in about 15 years, well, 10, 10-ish years. I'd have to watch it again. I know uh, there are, are purists of the comic who aren't crazy about it, but I hadn't read the comic. So I liked, I liked what it was and made me interested in the comic. So to me, that counts for something. Alan Moore despises it. That is the expected reaction from Alan Moore. Yeah, I, I should really read that one day. I started it, and then I had to give it back. Like, I borrowed a friend's, um... I tried reading it, I got started, and then... I let it... I was gonna read more of it, and I was like, Oh, I'll, I'll eventually get to it. I'll eventually get to it. And then, um, it took me too long. And by then, my friend was like, I, I kinda want that back. So I just never finished it. One day. Kitchen. <laughs> Triple kill. Ah, stranger, up for a little shooting? Looks like fun. Maybe I'll give it a shot. 
Okay, well, first... I can't get the loot. Here's why. Shit's full. It's missing a piece. Press the bell to start. Once your turn, either draw a card, play a card. Uh, well, I can't press the bell to start because we are missing a piece. But homie has the key, so we need to do that eventually. That isn't just for jelks and giggles. That's actually a real thing that you must do. Guys, could someone please play that MFN game with Norman in the rec room? He's been waiting around for days again. It's starting to affect my target times, knowing he's staring at the back of my head. Barry. Barry! I can't find the second player's token, and Norman won't let me play with anyone else. Or play with anything else. Did someone pick it up as part of another game? Claire. I'm sorry, Claire. I grabbed it as part of the chess set. Don't worry. I stopped by this afternoon and played a couple rounds with him, and afterwards I sent him home. Julia. So we're here. Um, I guess floor one, there's still some stuff that is missed, but I don't have the key for that. Barry and Claire, but which Resident Evil is Julia? Uh, I don't think... Is there? Maybe it's just reference and then original name? Original name, do not steal, Julia. Julia was one of the evil residents. Oh, fuck. Hey, Nick. Uh, what is this? This is Resident Evil with puppets. That one needs to be taped up, because he is an ammo sink. Let him count. All right, chat. Well, you count to ten first, and then we'll talk about them counting. Oh, this was locked, wasn't it? Yep. Well, 
What's that? Chat is, uh... Discussing a topic that is not worth discussing. Make them count. What's that? Chat is saying some repugnant shit because the streamer also said repugnant shit. Make them count. Be the best part of your day. What's that? A chat member says, Vinny. I'm joking for joy at the very thought of this. Make him count. Vinny. I've heard from a reputable source. Hey, y'all. I'm Norman. I'm a really normal guy. I just kind of, uh, show up to be a friendly face in the background. Uh, sometimes I get some... Never mind. Uh, let's see. I, I just pressed the wrong button there. That was a great one. Wait, 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 wait. Let me do another. Wait, what button, uh, is the... Yay! I love that one. <laughs> the longer you keep me around, the more help I'll be. <laughs> Lunch is my favorite meal of the day. I always eat the food that most remembers how <laughs> Dr. Jelkler and Mr. Hyde. No, I just wanted to check my fucking files and I don't... Oh, it's F. Okay. When I'm feeling happy, I eat watermelon. Well, we got a script here. I eat leftovers. When the I'm eating game star goblet. Uh, I feast upon the tears today's of my game enemies. is which dish? Smart, I eat everyone else's food. I'll ask a question. You need to eat the dish that answers it. Ready? Goblet begins to reach towards the meals. Goblet, you need to wait until I ask a question. Oh God, there's so much other voice stuff happening at the moment. Goblet just begins eating them. It's basically Cookie Monster. Oh no, Goblet, no! What does Norman notice? There's like an abundance of supplies in this game. I can't believe you noticed me. Oh, I notice all sorts of things. Here, let's play again. Now, oh, let me introduce you to I it all. Notice, uh, <laughs> cameras, lights, producers, children. <laughs> notice the children. Norman has noticed. Norman has noticed. Sometimes we would swap our arms. <laughs> we would swap our legs. One by one, each piece was swapped, and then we were back to normal. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what thing to get rid of. Sleeping can be the best part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. First, I get my PJs on so I can be warm. Candy bar. All night. Next, I go to the bathroom and grab my toothbrush. You can put it's got to be the candy bar. Hey, y'all. I'm Norman. I'm a really nor. <laughs> I need to hit up a save room. Either draw a card or play a card to move them any spaces. First to the end wins. If you land on Norman, draw a card. Junebug is wild. If you start your turn on Junebug, immediately play the top card in your deck. Leonard is slow. If you lose on Goblet, you lose. If you land on Goblet, you lose. Norman, draw a card. That was wild. Uh, one, two, three. Can't do that. What do you mean I can't do that? 
Guess I gotta follow the rules. What? Whoa. Well, what did I do wrong? You have to play the top card of your deck if you land on Junebug, I think. that yes good one two three and done I win god that's creepy <laughs> okay uh, is, is there a save room any a safe room Anywhere? We'll get the paper that's in this room. I think I got it. Oh, here we go. Okay, I see there, there's a crawl space. Insert reel into projector, press corresponding button to start projection. Seamlessly loops the film by asynchronously rewinding from the collection reel during playback. Puppet Space Quest, out of touch with reality, two out of five stars. There's nothing particularly wrong with Puppet Space Quest, the latest addition to the My Friendly Neighborhood media franchise. Once again, we join the puppets as they embark on another grand adventure, this time on a journey to find the planet Oblong. And once again, they are joined by a hapless B-tier celebrity to provide some dramatic core to the neighbor's antics. It's all well constructed and even amusing. The problem is that it's just what we've come to expect from Gertzwald's felt friends. What stands out most about the film is the sheer barrenness of the translunar landscape. And I don't just mean visually. Here there are no dazzling treasures, celebrity dreams, or gut-wrenching crime sprees to hold the audience attention, audience's attention. All that space is MFN's tired childish moral vision even when they travel to the other side of the universe the puppets can note oh can only offer the same moth-eaten yarn i just had a ron burgundy moment fuck you san diego Okay, yeah, I need I need to clear out some inventory space. The paper was on the chair of the jukebox room. Okay. There's another mask, and I have no room for it, so... Punctuation. It's a fucking grenade. Ah. Uh. 
Vinny, please tell me your thoughts on Muppet's Christmas Carol. It, it's a classic. Let me tell you about the time that my friend Liliana got me all upset about her. First, I beat her to the ground. Then I What about the Star Wars Christmas special? Also classic, but for the wrong reasons. Okay, that is what the mask stuff is all about. My favorite Muppet movie might be... just the first Muppet movie, or Muppet Treasure Island. I love... The, uh, the, the Muppet, uh, Christmas Carol. I think it's great, actually, but, um, that's a hard choice, man, because then you, you go, like, yeah, like, Tim Curry. And pirates and shit. It's like, it's just so good. That'll do for now. Oh, you need to carry the money with you to save. Got it. I, listen, I just like to watch Muppets ride bicycles. Is that so weird? Well, it is weird. That's why I like to watch it. Because it's fucking weird. And... The way they did it is, like, genius. Chat, that was a big deal. Getting a Muppet to ride a bicycle in the 70s was a big deal. Would you hang out with a Muppet? Uh, from chat member Cancer5. What is that name? Oh, is that like your star sign? Probably the star sign. Uh, yeah, I would hang out with a Muppet. Lunch Absolutely. I've ha I have. Me and Arlo have played games together. Well, technically, Arlo's not a Muppet. Just remember that. It's, it's a different thing. It's legally distinct, chat. It's legally distinct. Uh, oh, maybe I can uh, talk to my my echo. Welcome. Whoa, if you're spy. Vinny, have you hung out with Muppets in the British sense? Oh God, fucking Muppet. What? Learn the alphabet. What's the alphabet? Let me tell you, I've hung out with some fucking Muppets in my day, chat. I remember those. A is for Apomilius. B is for Blestusist. C is for Kibamurna. And all the rest. Not even real words, dude. Not even real words. Gangrene. H I J Karinakisis. And Z is for. Z Z is for. All words doesn't real. <laughs> We're all <laughs> Listen, we have agreed upon words. And we all use the words, and so we know what the words mean. You can't just go around and say things like scrocopulates. And no, don't ask me to spell that. You can't just say that. Scrimpton. Hold your hands up in the air. Now, 
We agreed. That's right. We all agreed upon words like joking, meaning a certain thing. What was the, um, the word? There was like a word of the year that really upset people last year, and I forgot what it was. Like it was added to the dictionary. Oh, just ussy. Like any goblin mode was another one. Well, that's that's two words. Yeah, I'm looking for that other mask. It's here somewhere, right? I can drop off the uh, other mask real quick. One was Ussy, the other was Goblin Mode. You also have to wonder, like, as we get older and people who, like, watch my streams and, and like, are aware- Not watch my streams specifically, but, like, the type of person who would watch a stream like mine and hear these disgusting words that are, again, not in the Bible. Just to clarify yet again, not in the Bible. And then they would just put it in the dictionary just as like a jape. Any Super Mario Brothers wasn't in the Bible either. Okay, what are you implying that? They're unholy creations of, of, of the devil? Because they are. Why is this news? Apparently goblin mode was a thing since 2009. A chat member has said. I mean, I believe it. No, the mask isn't in here. I think it's the other hall. Or maybe it's the rec room? Well, even if it's, like, chat, sometimes it's just, like, not time for a thing to become a thing yet. And maybe there's some stuff that has existed for a long time and then it's just brought into the, uh, into the world. Oh, like Skibbity Toilet, that's right. I'm bad at navigating this. I think I know where I have to go though. Loved you on Castle Super Beast. You deserve a follow. Thank you. Well, not every podcast do I have, like, chemistry with someone, but... We have a lot of the same reference points and, and sense of humor. And, uh, they're just, they're just good lads. So I was really happy to be a part of it. I, it's just, it's nice to be asked to do cool things. Hated you on Castle Super Beast, taking back my follow. At least it evens out. Um, hey, new chat member, can you replace the old chat member? Can, can you bring what that chat member brought to the table? And, and maybe even more? I don't know, chat. I got a good feeling about this new chat member. The safe has been installed to keep vulnerable items out of the hands of the neighbors. I don't want to include the combination here in case some of you 
of them can read, huh? But let's just say it'll help if you see the flip side of things. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, six, six. Well, I'm missing something anyway, never mind. Okay, so I'm just gonna fucking shoot. The mail comes every day. I look out the window waiting for the moment it appears. And then when it does, I rush outside to see. I'm Jumba, and I was asked to talk about responsibility. See, I used to get all turned upside down in my thinking about responsibility. I'm just gonna place them here for now, because uh, I need to free up inventory space, but we can definitely come back to them. We will. I have to use this wacky thing again. All right. Are you getting tired yet? Well, I'm not tired of the game yet, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually getting a little tired. But I, I've got another 15-20 minutes in me. I think we can probably solve this entire area in the time that I have before I wish to sleep. So I do need one more mask though. That is going to be the sticking point. For the moment, is where is that mask? I think you can use the diamond key. Oh, oh, okay. We got to go to the marquee hall. Okay, that'll help. Um, yeah, there's another diamond room in the sewer, so I could probably hold on to that key and, and go back down there, but we'll, we'll do that eventually. Vinny, are you going to do an early Final Fantasy stream tomorrow, or just chill? Um, I was thinking about it. I haven't decided, though. I'll just say there's a chance I would stream some Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow morning, but I don't... I don't know yet. I haven't really fully decided. At the same time as the alien direct. Uh, not that early! Shit. Well... That's not what I wanted to do. It's fine. Relics for the elevator. But where's the fluid tank? I learned my numbers when I was a kid. Here, let me show you how I learned. Hold your hands up in the air. Now bring them down. Use it. Use it. See? I love it so much. Hands. Never. Now, take one of your hands. 
Like how these sets were never like deconstructed. Also, that green carpet is truly wonderful. I wonder what happens when I When what? <laughs> what? Oh, that was a mistake. Because I have to go back in there. What have I done? Okay. Wait, did I have to go back in here? Not really. Not that I can tell. Those big ass broadcast TV cameras. Bump it. Can I see you enjoy the game for its Muppet theme? But I can see you enjoy the, the game for the Muppet theme, but how's the gameplay loop overall? Any good? I think it's a little backtracky. I think it can get a little confusing, but that also might be a skill issue. But it definitely adheres to the Resident Evil formula. I think fairly successfully but yeah there's 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 more backtracking than i would like Now, why did I do that, you may ask? And I don't have an answer. Wasted ammo and then took, like, took damage. For no good reason. Real quick, check out the diamond room in here and see if it's anything worth getting. It's also the the fucking the diamond lockbox. Getting sloppy because the game is giving a lot of resources. It's true. No skibbities in these toilets. No burritos either. Yes, the game does give you a fuckload of resources on this difficulty, which this is just normal difficulty, but... I chose that because I just figured I would rather play through the game, enjoy myself, even if it's a little easy, rather than get frustrated and then not see the whole game because I, you know, like, gave up. Or because the playthrough ended up being too long. Pump, peace. Please. Um, there's still something in here somewhere. Oh, oh. Okay, now it's done. So the other one is, uh, I guess we could take the boat. And the boat would take us here, and there's the, the diamond thing, right? There's a diamond dong? Isn't there a diamond dong? Or maybe I'll come back to that naturally? They call us the diamond dongs. There, no, there's a fucking diamond lockbox. But I have to wonder, is it going to be a vital thing, or is it just going to be some ammo? 
Well, there's no boat, so I've already just given up. That's fine. Remember, giving up is actually great. Remember how growing up people were like, ah, don't quit. Never quit. Don't give up. Well, what about smoking? Vinny, this is terrible advice. Okay, so then just keep smoking, chat member. That's a good thing to tell people. Great message. Vinny, please tell me you weren't a Newport guy. I hated menthols. Uh, Vinny, you're not wrong, but it might be a progress item. Vinny, don't tell me you're from New York. I don't think I can handle that right now. Uh, nope. Nope, not, not from New York then. Great, that was cool. That was a good decision. Back to the office, there's nothing more you can get here. That would have been good to know before I did that. But also, I did not need to do that. So there's a triangle door there. Sick, uh, what we do in the shadows reference, chat member. But I'm going to kindly ask you to get fucked. This fucking guy. Have you gone through the middle door in the lobby? Uh... I, I, I think I have. New York City! <laughs> Matt Berry voice in parenthesis. It, it's it really, I mean, it, he doesn't really even have to do anything particularly funny in the script. He can just, like, charisma his way into laughs. How the fuck do you do that? New York City! Yeah, that's an elevator. <laughs> My good time, boy! I do like... I need a compilation of fun things that he said. So I can study them. Uh, the big doors. Okay, yes. Alright, let's go back in here and see what we missed. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, have I- have I been in here?
this is the projector room. What happened to these poor puppets? They're not poor puppets, fuck them. But yeah, don't actually fuck the puppets. No room in toolbox. Okay. My inventory is once again cluttered with shit. Yeah, that works. Floating letters, eh? Well, that was an E, actually. Vinny, what is your opinion on Staten Island not appearing in a lot of movies and TV compared to other boroughs? Uh, I don't really, I don't really give a shit. What's here? Who cares? The reason it was chosen as the vampire residence and what we do in the shadows is because of how unremarkable it is. That's the joke. I mean, I like it. I like it quite a bit, but, you know. They don't film on Staten Island at all, by the way. But no one would know the difference. <laughs> so, I mean, I can tell pretty clearly. Why not? Because it's more expensive to film here than it would be in, say, Vancouver or some other Canadian city or suburb. Junebug had a good day. Well, shit. That was just laziness. That, that's just pure laziness. Norman had a bad day. Liliana found a big mouse. There you go. Dice. The other thing about it is, um... There's a couple schools of thought about the Staten Island thing in regards to how popular it is. There are many people who feel the Verrazano Bridge was the worst thing that could have happened to this island. Because it made it more crowded. Gatekeeping? Bridge keeping? Well, I like it because it means I get to drive to Brooklyn. So, I don't really have much of a problem with it, but there's some uh, part of me that doesn't mind that we have a shitty reputation, because it's like, well, that's fine, keep it, keep it a secret a little bit. Like, sure, people know it exists, and, you know, people think it's some kind of, like, there's, like, wizards and, and like, rats and, like, uh, and, and assholes that are walking here all the time, like, just, like, the worst people. And to some small degree, that is true. Like, that it, it, it can be, uh, 
like most places, it has its shitty elements, of course, but... If it was described as the best place on the planet, and uh, people ended up moving here in droves, that means they would have to build it up more, there would be more traffic, prices would go up, I mean... So, yes, that is one of the other schools of thought. So I don't really mind that it's not overly um, discussed. It really doesn't bother me too much. So we can go this way. Where does this man live? New York? New York City! Sleeping can be the best part of your day. I always start by getting ready for bed. Um, but yeah, I don't even know if I if I fully agree with the thing I just said. But that I I don't mind living a nice peaceful life. <laughs> like quiet. I like what I do for a living, I like the attention when I uh, go to a convention. But I'm happy I can just come back to boring old Staten Island when, when all that's said and done, and just get my bacon, egg, and cheese, and live my life. I just want to live my life! So yeah, I don't really, I don't really mind at all uh, that people... that people uh, don't care about us. The Forgotten Burrow for a good reason. Yeah, I know, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing, chat. Tank. Well, thank you. Something clicked. Okay, rec room is done. Machine room, I believe, is where we're, uh, we're going. Now, the question here I have is, can I... Uh, I'll find out myself. I won't even ask. I won't even ask. Vinny, I'm curious... I've always been curious, what's your workout routine? routine? <laughs> what do you mean, workout routine? I, I go for walks. I do a lot of walking, and sometimes I ride a bicycle. Like David Byrne from Talking Heads. Not too much, though. But yeah, I don't really do a whole lot. I mean... Uh, 
I guess band practice is a little bit of uh, cardio. Because I have to, like, sing and stuff. Does that count? I don't know. No? I mean, I feel, like, exhausted afterwards. Doesn't count. But no, but... Oh, there's a lot of breathing. No? That's probably from dealing with Mike. What do you mean, dealing with Mike? Dealing with? He's actually, um, listen. Chat. Did you know that people, when they stream, <laughs> are not exactly who they are in the real life, in the IRL? It's true. Usually people are, are like more chill versions of their streaming selves. So yeah, no, Mike is easy. He's not... I mean, he's getting the workout, because he has to play the drums. But yeah, he's like chilling with Mike like in uh, a band practice setting or just like playing video games or just talking very down to earth. Would you say you're much different? If my energy level right now is at like a three in real life, it's like a negative one. Uh, Conan O'Brien had a good anecdote about this. In, like, regards to being... Uh, being the person... I've talked about this on stream, but, like, being the person... That he is on his late-night show. Or, like, when he's, like, on a, on a stage, or when he's doing his podcast, versus him just, like, hanging out with people, or, like, being, you know, at dinner. And it's like... Uh, I'm not trying to make people laugh all the time. And I really don't have, like, I'm not too concerned with, like, doing bits in real life. You know, I just kind of want to, like, just chill. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, like, similar, but less animated, I think. There's not, yeah, there's not, like, a ton of difference between, like, Stream Vinny and, uh, non-Stream Vinny. They should fix that elevator. I mean, it's still me, but yeah, I'm just not trying to do bits. And I'm a little bit more, uh, quiet. Yeah. Which Vinny are you right now? I'm as close to who I am in real life as you can get on stream because I'm just chilling. I know I've said that word a lot, but... Right now it's like late, I'm tired. Um, I've been streaming for several hours, so yeah, I don't really have a whole lot else. I don't have any more bits left, chat. <laughs> chilling for real, bro. You know what I'm saying? FR, for real. In the IRL. How do I even, like, do this? Do I have to go- Oh, oh, the fucking... I see. Say Jelk again, that's an easy laugh. Jelk? I guess I kind of just said it, huh? Vinny does an outro bit in real life, too. Jeff would know. No, I- I also, um... I like being animated from time to time, and there's like a set and setting for it, especially depending on what game I'm playing, or if it's Sunday stream. And I like laughing like a maniac from time to time. But I also am a big fan of dry humor. And just stuff like- like wordplay, or, you know. 
just having minimal kind of uh, reactions until something is worthy of me losing my shit over. Because if you're, like, going mental all the time, where do you go from there? Then you always have to, like, laugh like a rhesus monkey. And, like, then just keep, like, upping that energy. And then, like, after three hours, you're just, like, exhausted. Hell, I'm exhausted just talking like I would someone who's in the same room. I'm gonna save here. The room mentioned. Yeah, I know. I actually... <laughs> may be watching it again... ...really soon. For the 1,000th time. But that movie will probably be with me till the day I die. You watch Neil Breen much? I do. Yeah. Not much, but it's it's good to show uh, friends, especially people who have never seen Neil Breen. It's like, oh, you need to see this. You need to see this. All right, I'm gonna stop this now. So game is still entertaining me. I don't know how much more game is left, but we are making progress. On the next stream, CEO office. Yeah. We're getting there, chat. We're getting to the end, I think. Or at least, we're a bit more than halfway through. That uh, Perfect. This is a fun once-a-week game. Uh, so yeah, thank you everybody for watching and listening to me. And uh, just being here. It means a lot to me that I can just have a conversation at this tone. And just talk about whatever random shit comes to mind. And say Jelk for an easy laugh. It's like, honestly, exactly where I want to be. And I can't thank you enough for allowing me to, uh, to do this. So, appreciate it. Alright. Well, good night. Thanks again. And, uh, I don't know if I'll be live tomorrow for the Alien Direct. Sorry. For the Alien Direct or otherwise. I'm considering doing an early Final Fantasy 16. I definitely will not be covering the Alien Direct, like, streaming it. I'll probably just talk about the highlights and maybe show some video of it, like, later in the day. Because, man, it's going to be such a boring conference. And it's, you know it's going to be nothing. Any of the things that we want it to be is probably not going to be what that is. So... In any case, um, probably will be live tomorrow in some way, shape, or form just because I want to make progress in Final Fantasy 16. If I'm not, I'll see you Thursday. And uh, I've got more pre-recorded stuff. I'm going to check out that Alien game. There's a new Aliens game that I'm kind of interested in. And I'm also uh, going to play more Viewfinder. I don't know if I'm going to do that live or pre-recorded. But the game was fun. So, yeah, Alien Dark Descent. It looks kind of neat. Pre-recorded Remnant 2. Uh, if I get a key for it, I will. But I, I haven't really put any effort into that. It, it's interesting to me. It looks cool, but I don't think I'm going to buy it. And I, I hate to say that, but I just have too much other shit to play at the moment. And of course, more Pikmin soon enough. Also, sick Nort chat. All right, I'm going. Goodbye. Good night. Take care. See you, everyone. And uh, I hope you have a good night.